Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work. It doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting. Private armies and such. But it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well... Maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Are you interested in the lieutenant chief? No, ma'am. And anyway, Scuttlebutt says he's already sweet on someone. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. I was an only child, but I get the idea. At least one of my parents was always on duty. Yeah, military families, eh? With schedules like that, it's a wonder we ever have kids anymore. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. 
I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so in the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am, 